Should we change the way we talk about strategy? Most people don't understand strategy. It may sound obvious, but the reason why many strategies are never realized is that most people in large organizations don't understand what the strategy means, even if they know of its existence. Senior managers assume that their employees understand them when they talk about strategy. Unfortunately, this is rarely the case. And indeed, strategies are often articulated in a way that makes them impossible to deliver. My name is Jonathan Norman. I've published nearly 120 books on projects and programs for Gower Publishing. And I wanted to talk to you about the subject of strategy. Have a look at some of your current strategies. If they aren't as effective as they could be, it may well be because they're written in a language that is far too vague and fails to understand the role of the users in the equation. Or perhaps, on the other hand, they're hugely detailed and run into pages of documents so that even the most enthusiastic employee struggles to see the wood for the trees. I've used the ideas in Phil Driver's Validating Strategies to highlight some of the most common problems associated with the way we talk about strategy. Exploratory verbs. Words such as explore, investigate, and address are exploratory verbs. They're, used, they're useful in early stage, high level aspirational strategies when the main work essentially involves framing and sense making the opportunities that the strategy will endeavor to seize. But as strategies move from the aspirational towards the more operational, they're of much less value and can signal a delaying tactic to avoid taking concrete action and using further reviews or investigations to give an impression of usual activity. Improvement verbs. These verbs are useful within high-level strategies because they point to the need for change. But their main shortcoming is that they provide no indication of how that change will be implemented. Think of verbs like enhance, improve, increase, and consolidate. These are all words in this category and all require more specific action-oriented verbs as well as measurable targets before they can be used at an operational level. Certainty project verbs. Certainty verbs appear to convey confidence that a strategy will have the desired effect, but they're generally illusory. One of the most popular of these verbs is ensure. However comforting the word, there is no such project action as ensure. Organizations may take actions which have a high likelihood of producing a desired result, but they cannot ensure that the community will use the outcome, nor can they ensure the benefits. Collaboration project verbs. Collaborate, cooperate, and engage have become popular as words in recent years, particularly in the public sector, where there's been a belief that collaboration, cooperation, and engaging are useful, universally good things. This means they often appear in strategy documents with little indication of why they will add value to a strategy or how they will be applied in its implementation or development. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the repeated theme in all of this language involves exaggerated claims for certainty outcomes and benefits of projects that will deliver the strategy. It's only human nature to express confidence and show a tolerance for risk and uncertainty. None of this language is wrong or bad in itself. The danger lies in the meaning that's intended, how this communicates the strategy to stakeholders, and how strategies that misuse this, misuse this language create an environment for projects that are challenged before they've even started. Thank you for listening.